you know, they got vans, man. They could pick people up, like, like child care, man. You know, like, uh, not for the little, little kids, man, but, you know, school kids and stuff, you know, they got vans, man. You know, you know, and, uh, then like sometimes they have to shut that stuff down because people sue for this and that, you know, stuff happens, you know, you got this and that, you know, like, whoops, they got insurance, you know, but it should be, he says, oh man, my kid got a cut, you know, and they go and they, yeah, like they put a band-aid on it, they go, oh, you got a cut, you got a band-aid, we got a sue. No, you don't. You're idiots, you know. They're trying to give you education, you know. They get a finger cut, you know. Say, man, did they sew it back on or something, you know. But, you know, anyways, I don't want to talk about that stuff right now. I'm going to talk about this. That's the Civil Air Patrol, man. You know, United States Air Force Auxiliary, you know. You know, because everybody was suing for this and that. You know, they messed up the funding and the budgets and everything else, you know. So, this is what they have right now, you know. Like a bunch of salt pillars, you know. I want to tell you about the salt pillars, you know. You know why the Air Force, the Army, and the Marines, and the Coast Guard love the United States Navy and the United States, uh, you know, Postal Service and the, uh, you know, the uh, International Space Station, the United Space Alliance? Because the Navy, we, we're some really cool people, man. You know, you read about the Navy in the Bible, you know, it said sometimes, you know, people needed some help. So they had all these people, you know, they sent them down to the sailor mines. You know, people were selling each other out, man. They just didn't understand, you know, they had to work together. So they were just selling each other out, suing each other. A bunch of doctors and lawyers and crazy judges over there. And that was the fall of Rome, you know. So he says, man, he sent them all down to the sailor mines. So they look at that and it's like the sailor mines. The sailor mines, and they lost their minds and they went somewhere to find it. So, all right, okay. So those churches that got together, Gotta get over there and see what they're doing. Yeah. He says, "Well, you know, you had the sailor mines, so maybe, maybe if we could sail across the ocean, you know, and get through all those minefields, you know, and maybe, maybe we can learn a thing or two, you know." And so it's like, "Well, you know, they sailed across the ocean and do that a long time ago, so maybe we gotta go there too." He says, "No, you gotta do it right, you know." So they have these minefields out there and warring over nothing. It's like, you know, satellite system, universal healthcare system, we could get universal high school system for education. He says, man, it yeah, could bring world peace like that, you know, a pretty good idea. He says, you know, sailor mines, you know, like the United States Navy and the space sailors, you know, the space force, you know, sailing up there in the oceans of the skies, man, for the world, you know. It's like, man, that was God's plan, yeah, something like that. He says, well, we got these posts here, you know, it's the starting of a building, but we need some volunteers, you know. So if we get a gazebo here, you know. You know, we could uh, put some kind of dedication thing here, you know, for the people that down in the communities and the businesses, you know, to help build this thing that hasn't been built yet, you know. I got a weather station here too, you know. So that'd be kind of cool, you know, instead of putting on a little pipe with some straps and stuff, you know, maybe they could put a gazebo here, you know, or they can come out here and they look at this and they talk about it, you know, and you put a couple of picnic tables over here where they could, you know, have a luncheon or something, you know, and maybe the Civil Air Patrol, you know, they help with the community, you know, maybe some people don't want to be part of the Civil Air Patrol, but, you know, they have events and stuff, you know, for the local communities, and they come out and they talk about, you know, flight and space and, and stuff like that, and then they go, hey, you know, we got this thing over here for the high schools too, you know, you know, some of those people, you might not go to this school or that school, they have those programs, you know, so they go, hey, well, you know, we'll tell you about it, maybe you can go over here on the weekends, you know, you know, so this school don't have that or this school don't have that, okay, that's fine, didn't have the funding for that, okay, cool, we got this building over here, you can still learn about it, we got volunteers from the schools that do have the program, and you go hang out with those kids at this place, so, oh, man, and we yeah, man, it's you know, a lot about history. We got museums and stuff, you know, and maybe, uh, you know, since you guys don't have those programs, you know, the schools that do have the programs, they get together and they save up some money and they go, hey, you know, these schools ain't got these programs like we do. So maybe we donate some money to them and we set up like a school field trip for them to go on this field trip thing, you know, and they come back and talk to us about it and stuff. And he says, man, that's pretty cool. And he says, yeah. So why are they doing that? They have like this little gazebo thing over here with the Wright brothers, you know, 
airplane you know model remake kind of thing and they got a plaque talking about you know first in flight and they got another plaque you know you know reaching for the stars and then you know and he said don't get lost in space you know where you're out there exploring the universe you know because the settlers of this land built all kind of stuff for the future of tomorrow you know so as you stand at the edge of the mar, and you see where the Wright brothers stood in front of this little old plane, you know, remember that when you see all this new technology. I go, wow, that's a pretty cool idea. And then you go over here and you see all this other cool stuff. You know, I mean, come on. That's how you do education on tourism. Look, even the birds flying up there. Man, that's pretty cool. Sign language stuff. It's coming to do something. He's a big bird for you, man.